Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we're on the third floor of Watcher's Keep, which is a giant portal maze. And you know how good I am at mazes, folks. I'm terrible at them. We did manage to get through a couple of rooms, and we even found someone that gave us a quest. But then we had to run back to the beginning when we were ambushed by a pair of Maroliths in a room with wild magic. Now I do know how I can get rid of them if they appear again. I looked at what spells they cast when they appeared, and they did have a protection for magical weapons. That explains why my front line weren't able to harm them. Yes. And we do have a spell prepared that can get rid of that, and that is Breach. Admittedly, we only have one casting ever prepared, I really should get a second one, but it wouldn't have been very useful when we actually encountered them because of that wild magic. For all we know, Edwin could have turned himself into a chicken, and we don't want that. What we do want to do is we want to find more rooms, and find the enemies that that person that gave us the quest wants us to defeat. And we haven't gone this way yet, so let's go this way. It's probably going to lead us to somewhere we've already been, and that place is the room where we encounter the Marilets, and it's a good thing that they're gone. Hopefully they went through a different portal and appeared on a plane of nothing. That would be awesome. Now, we haven't gone this way, and there's one room that I'm very concerned about, and if it's this room, we're going to have to do some preparation. That is, if we can actually pathfind to the portal. We managed it. It took a little while, but we got there in the end. Oh, this is the room. The air tingles with energy and power, making the very hairs on the back of your neck stand up. That is the game not so obviously telling you that wild magic is in Be effect here. It. So let us uh, activate Valor's Helm. Fortunately, magic from items isn't affected by the wild magic. So... We have a second Corgan, and this Corgan is going to enrage. What do you want? You're also going to enrage, and we're going to have you use your improved haste ability. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rush in and see if we can kill the wizard that's a part of the uh, group that's going to go hostile when they see us before the wizard can cast spells, because the wizard is exceptionally dangerous. There's the wizard. Primes! Attack! They may have been forced into service! Forced into service? What are you talking about? Let's hope we can uh, defeat you before we find out. I want you to uh, assist me in defeating this foe. What would you and I want you... Actually, I want you to attack there, yeah, and you to attack here. Ready. I want you to start uh, firing off some sling bullets here. I have been told that if I were to uh, equip Faconia with sling bullets, she would deal additional damage because of the strength bonus when using the sling. I'll keep that in mind for the future, but I don't think we'll need that for this encounter. We got a hit in there, that's good. And another hit, the wizard is gone. Now, you may have noticed the dog that's appeared here, Aranthus. Aranthus is a lot more dangerous than you'd think. So we should actually start uh, attacking Aranthus. Potions have been quaffed, and uh, Terry actually took a hit there, but the person that we were attacking here is already gone, so we're doing pretty well here. And there is Aranthus attacking us, and Aranthus seems to be surrounded by a swarm of some kind. We can get everybody else to focus on Aranthus, and you can attack this tiefling. Now, Aranthus can, and there is another level up, Aranthus can summon various uh, allies to help, and can also protect uh, itself by using Mirror Image. But we were fast enough, mainly because we knew it was going to happen, to avoid all of that, which is awesome. Now, let's start getting the loot. First things first, we'll grab all of the... Uh, non-magical loot. The potions, which effectively are magic, but we don't need to identify them. And all of the jewelry. Will be we have a silver rock. necklace, a silver ring, we have a Zios gem, we have two potions of fire giant strength, those are pretty handy, and nine potions of superior healing, which we are going to uh, swap the haste potions out for. I think the haste potions have uh, seen their time to shine. 
Now let's look at all of the uh, yeah. weapons and armor. We have two suits of plate mail. Now these tieflings were only wearing plate mail, and they are pretty dangerous. Their power really comes from the fact that they are super high level warriors, and there's a rogue and a super high level wizard, and they will just blast spells at you and hack you to pieces with their two handed weapon fighting. As for the two handed weapon fighting, we have some weapons here. We have a bunch of axes no more. Find your and a on the dagger. The dagger is plus two, the short sword is plus two, and all of the battle axes are plus two. Unfortunately, none of these weapons are super special. They are, however, worth a fair bid, so we will sell them at a later time. We could sell them uh, here at Watcher's Keep. Probably should have sold things at Watcher's Keep instead of the Adventurer Mart before, but I may have wanted some of the stuff the Adventurer busy, Mart had. You never know what things you have uh, overlooked when you're going through that store's inventory. This is a Cleric Staff plus three, another Wand of Spell Striking, and Leather Armor plus three. So the only things that were plus three were the Staff and the Armor. Not bad, but the important things we'll are the level ups else. that we got. So let's sort them out. First, we have Dawn. Dawn gained a Thacko reduction of one, one fourth level spell that we're not going to be able to cast, some hit points, and a lore increase. Now, I did do a little bit of looking up. Uh, summon Fallen Diva, not very useful. Hardiness might be useful later on for Dawn. That 40% resistance to all forms of physical damage will help him because he has lower hit points. But for now, we're going to go with Greater Whirlwind. It's just really good. But that is not the fun level up. The fun level up is Edwin. Edwin is level 19 and gains an ability. Now, of all the abilities here, there is only one I want to get. We will eventually be getting the uh, extra spells, but for a new ability, we're going to pick Dragon's Breath. The sheer amount of damage that is dealt here is such that even if they save for half, it is still effectively 10d10 points of fire damage, and that is really impressive. And the fact that this will not harm party members is even better. I can have uh, Terry, Dawn, and uh, Corgan rush into the fray, and then Edwin can fire off a Dragon's Breath. There we go. Now, speaking of Dragon's Breath, I actually want you to prepare that and get rid of the freedom spell for it. Marvelous. Mm. Yes. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, save before we rest, because who knows busy, what okay, trouble busy. we could get into. Ooh, that reminds me. Where is Breach? We want to get another Breach, so we shall uh, get rid of Domination, prepare a second Breach. Yes, Just in case that what pair of Marilets reappear. Then we can deal with them. We will save, and then rest. No enemies. Marvelous. You want to bet I'm saving again? This place is very dangerous. And we have a few ways that we can go. Let's first go this way and see where it takes us. Hopefully somewhere new. No! Nowhere new. This is exactly the same room. Let's go this way instead. I'll go through eventually, and find new locales. This is the very beginning. Okay. That's not going to uh, get us any further through going right back to the start, so we shall quickly make our way back. Very well. We'll go this way, and that way. And the one way we haven't gone yet is this way here. Hopefully this way will lead to a nice, happy room full of awesome things, and who am I kidding? It's probably going to lead us straight into peril. A room we have not been to yet. Okay. Time to save. Time to have Hexat yes. look for what traps, because I feel like there might be one. Oh look! Here is a Glabrazoo. 
We need to deal with the Glabrazoo quickly. What would you have so, how about they? What is it now? I want you to wait until everyone is close. Ooh, there are two Glabrazoos. That is a nasty ability there, and we also have a uh, Ice Salamander to worry about. Fortunately, the uh, Glabrazoo is not actually doing very well. So we'll uh, leave these uh, three out of the uh, cloud here. And I actually feel like moving to here so these enemies will follow us. And then how about the? We have two Ice Salamanders and one Greater Fire Elemental. Please move a little further back. Now these enemies hit quite hard. Fortunately for us, we are hitting harder. And we gain 5,000 experience per person there, defeated. Okay. Now we have to wait for all of this uh, to go away. These are runes of warding. They speak of the imprisoned one and are sealed with helm symbol. Well, there is definitely something here we need to deal with if this monument is to be believed. If it's to be believed is another matter. Now, were those the uh, demons that we needed to defeat for that quest? I'm not so sure they were. They could have been. We haven't had a uh, thing pop up saying that we have uh, completed a quest, though. So I'm going to err on the side of that probably wasn't it. Victory shall be ours. Let us you know do a this. bit more healing, because Dawn took a hit, and so did Corgan. We could rest, but I don't want to uh, incur the wrath of the uh, Marilith. So let us instead another Cure Moderate. And I kept uh, scrolling past the Cure Moderate there, but we did it. We got there. Also, someone suggested that I do use the uh, quick cast slots here. That's actually a pretty good idea. We want that spell. We want... Uh, Powered Silence is one that I typically want to have uh, cast quickly, and I think Dragon's Breath will be good. Yeah, that one seems good as well. As for you, I feel like we want a heal quickly on hand, and we also want a... Hmm. What else do we quickly want on hand? Mass Cure? Mass Cure might I be shall nice. Follow your strength. Yeah. So we have three portals that we have not explored. And I'm going to save again. Want to keep all of that uh, quick cast preparation after all. I believe I will listen. You can't you don't have a quick caster thing, so hmm. that's okay. Of course. Let's go to the opposite one first, shall we? And just see where it takes us. Nowhere is the answer. I'm spotting a trend with those. So let us instead go this way. Why not? The answer is because peril. Tanari! Tanari, in the guise of mortals, it is so. The blood war anew. Kill our ancient foe. I think we might have found those demons. So, we are going to very quickly get some preparation going. Valor's Helm. Improved Haste. What are we up against? Here is an Erinus. We have an Imp. We have another Imp. We have some uh, Cornigans and a demon called Karashur. Right. Mind your toes. You attack there. Yes. You wait until uh, we have spare uh, Corgan. Haste. Be quick. I want you to enrage, and I want you to enrage. And what I actually want you to do right now is use your greater whirlwind ability and just start attacking. You're going to attack. Oh, there are also some bone fiends. Right, you start attacking there, please. 
I want you to uh, defeat these immediately, if you would. You have not yet enraged. You have enraged, though. Uh, how about the, if you would, right now? You are in uh, melee range, so we want a greater whirlwind, please. Right now. Oh, that's a lightning bolt, and that's a lot of damage you're taking because you are surrounded by bows. Oh, and that's not good. You have 22 health. This might be tricky, unless we have a dragon's breath go off. This might help. I'm saying it might help, but uh, no guarantee it actually will. You actually, all the lightning bolts that are happening here. That's a lot of lightning bolts. And we've taken a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. Also, quite a few of the enemies were immune to the uh, dragon's breath, but that's all right. Be quick with it. Nobody is actually dead dead yet. Also, I wouldn't mind passing over a, uh, a single potion to Vaconia, if you would, so that you can drink it. Victory shall be ours. You have a status effect right now. You are deaf at the moment. Okay, and you have a status effect. You are bleeding. That is not good either, but I do think we may have dealt with uh, that foe. So... Oh, lightning bolts everywhere still. That's still kind of bad. Are they going to stop? Probably not. Probably not. Though we have managed to uh, deal with the uh, bulk of the enemies, except for uh, Karashur. Karashur is still here. Karashur is still here and causing a problem. I wonder if the lightning bolts are actually causing... Uh, the enemy more of a problem than us. I feel like uh, spreading out here is a good plan. So that we don't lose anyone. Oh, we have lost Maconia. That's actually extremely bad. We do have, however, the Rod of Resurrection. That could save us here. It probably will, actually. What I want you to do right now is uh, quaff that, and you should quaff that. We have you here that I want to uh, retarget over to here. Please go into that corner. Please turn invisible. Otherwise, we're in some serious trouble. Attack here, if you will. And you just go over there and fight that foe. We have a another corner gun here that has appeared. Mm. You're at one health. That's kind of bad. Did you pop that potion and turn invisible again? Excellent. Have we actually dealt damage to anyone? We have a Velithu. I don't know what a Velithu is, apart from trouble. So we have uh, Karashur there still. We do have the uh, normal whirlwind ability. That could be useful. And you are now terrified. Well, that's not great, but we have dealt with uh, that foe now. Let's deal with this Velithu quickly. Oh, you keep attacking uh, Edwin. That's why Edwin took some damage there. Okay, we're dealing damage to uh, Karashur. Karashur is nearly gone. And I think Karashur is gone, which leaves just that foe there. Okay! Good news! We were victorious. Bad news, we lost two of the party. That's not great. Fortunately, we have the Rod of Resurrection, which should be able to bring back Vaconia. It has ten uses. Let us use it on Vaconia. Marvelous! I knew I kept that for a reason. Back in the bag you go. You have served us well. Now, I want you to go and grab all of your things. Your things are here. Not you, Edwin. You still have all your things. Go grab all your items, if you would. We need to re-equip pretty much everything. But considering how messy that was with the hail of lightning and doom, I think that went adequately well. 
I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. It also could have gone a lot better, too. And we need to equip that, so then we can equip this. And then that. And all of these things here. That there. There we go. You can have that. That. And just hold on to... No, actually, you can't hold on to those. Never mind. You can have these antidotes, though. Mental note. We need to give you some potions in the future. Victory shall be ours. You know this. I hope so. I hope the victories will be a little bit cleaner than they were just then. And so, folks, when we come back, we're actually going to rest before I decide to uh, end this here. Because uh, if memory serves, the last time we rested while Hexat was uh, regenerating, things didn't end so well. There we go. I am Much better. Good. Now you can grab all of your things. They're all here. We don't want a repeat of that silliness from before. No, we don't. Get that, and this, and that, and all of these things. You don't need the Cloak of Dragomir on right now. That was probably something that made you quite a bit weaker. Need to keep remembering that I don't need that equipped. That there, that there, that there. And we can just grab all of here. this here if we uh, go here. Grab all of this. Brilliant. Equip that, equip that. And your inventory is really full. Really full. Hmm. But we'll sort that out another time. Certainly. For when we come back, folks, we did manage to defeat those demons. And we got an awesome item by the looks of it. The Scepter Gem. But what scepter is it from? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.